Hello viewers, this is Style Too Fast here. In today's video, I'll show you a brand new car jump starter that incorporates many new technology. Inside this jump starter is a lithium iron phosphate battery cell and not a lithium polymer battery. This is important because a lithium iron phosphate battery will last twice as long as a regular lithium polymer battery and it's much safer to use because it will not overheat or catch on fire and it can operate in more extreme temperature. This device is also IP65 rated, so it's waterproof and dustproof. You can also use this as a power bank to charge your mobile device. This one here is made by the company Locathor and is a model J1350 Pro. In this video, I'll go over all the features on this device, so let's get started. Right here is the Locathor J1350 Pro car jump starter. Let me show you the unboxing and I'll show you what comes with it. User manual. And here's a J1350. This is a storage bag. USB C cable. This is a USB A to USB C cable. And right here is the jumper cable. Let's have a look at this J1350 Pro jump starter. Now the first thing I want to point out is the battery that's inside this unit is a lithium iron phosphate battery and not a lithium polymer battery. This is important because not many jump starter uses a lithium iron phosphate battery as it costs more than a lithium polymer battery. And with this type of battery, you get a much better cycle life. It will last twice as long as a regular lithium polymer battery. It's also chemical stable, meaning there's no risk of combustion, explosion or leakage. It's resistant to compression, puncture, and impact. And it can operate in extreme temperature, ranging from minus four degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And the self-discharge is very low at 0.46 milliamp hour. So once you fully charge the battery, the standby time is 720 days or two years. So you can store this in your vehicle and you don't have to worry about the battery draining and not having enough power when you need to use it. This jump starter has a very solid construction. It's IP65 rated. So it's water resistant and dust proof. Looking at the front, here it tells you it's rated at 1,350 amp at 12 volt. And this device can jump start a gasoline engine rated at 6.5 liter or diesel engine at 3.5 liter. To power this on, press the power button here. This LED status bar will show you the charge level of the internal battery. Now the voltage meter, right now it's showing zero volt. If I connect this to a car battery using the jumper cable, then this will show you the battery voltage of a car battery. Now the bottom left hand corner, there are a couple of status LED here. It'll show you things like over temperature, charging reminder, reverse polarity LED, and air LED. This button here will allow you to turn on the flashlight that's built into the side here. If I press and hold this, it'll turn on the flashlight. Press it again, this strobe, once more, this SOS. The flashlight on this is 200 lumen, so it's very bright. You can use this to illuminate the work area. Now in the middle between the flashlight, this is where you connect the jumper cable. On the other side, open up this cover and you have a USB-C connector and a USB-A connector. The USB-C connector is an input and an output port. So you use this port to charge the internal battery and you can also use it to charge a mobile device. With a USB-A connector, there's an output port and it's rated at a maximum of 18 watt. To charge the internal battery, use the included USB cable and plug this into a USB charger. And if you're using a power delivery 30 watt charger, it can fully charge this battery in 60 minutes. To charge a battery, plug the USB-C cable into the USB-C port on the side here. And while it's charging, the LED display will show you the input power. Right now, the input power is 10.4 watts. Right here is a jumper cable. You have the negative clamp and the positive clamp. The wire that's on here is 10 gauge and the clamp itself is well constructed, fuse very solid. And to connect the jumper cable to the battery pack, pull back this cover and plug this connector in. Now the connector is keyed, so you can only plug it in one way. Now this device features Connect Max technology. What that is, is when you connect the clamp to the car battery terminal, this device will actually measure the resistance from the battery pack to your car battery. So let's say if your car battery terminal is corroded or too dirty, there'll be a warning LED on here telling you the connection is not good. So you might need to reclamp the alligator clamp or clean the battery post to make sure you have a good connection. Once the connection is good, 
The LED status here will show you is ready for jump starting. This device also has many built-in safety features like reverse polarity protection. So even if I short out the two alligator clamps, it will not damage the device. And also if you mixed up the connection, let's say you connect the positive clamp to the negative terminal of the car battery, this device will let you know it's connected incorrectly and it will not allow you to jump start a vehicle. So this is very easy and safe to use for anyone. Let me demonstrate to you how to use a jump starter to jump start your vehicle. Now on this Honda Odyssey, the car battery is actually located below this air intake, but you still have access to both the negative terminal and the positive terminal of the car battery. What you want to do is connect the positive clamp to the positive terminal of the car battery, and then connect the negative clamp to the negative terminal. Once both clamps are connected, you can turn on the power. Now at this point, I'll do a countdown letting you know it's ready to jumpstart your vehicle. The display right now is showing you the voltage on the car battery, 12.2 volt. Also the Connect X technology will show you if the connection you have between the jump starter and your car battery is good. It's indicated by the two LED right here. Right now it's green telling you you have a good connection. This green LED here will let you know it's ready for jump starting. I'll go into the car right now and start it up. Once it's started, I can disconnect the clamp. As you can see, it's very safe and easy to use. When you're done using it, you can store this back in your car and it's ready for use next time. You can use this jump starter as a battery pack to charge your mobile device. Right now it's charging my phone here and it's doing super fast charging. And on display, it's telling you it's charging at 19 watt. As you can see, this is a really nice car jump starter with many great features built in. I especially like the fact that it uses a lithium iron phosphate battery cell, which is much safer to use and has a longer cycle life. Now at the time of this review, this retails for $110. You can also check off a $20 coupon below the price to get additional savings. If you're interested in getting this, check out the link below. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.